Hello chess family, it's me National Master Jesse James and it's time for another installment of How to Play the French. Alright, we're going to take a look at the idea of uh, playing in the Winovar variation and this one I'm going to call it Keep Your King in the Center. Wait a second, my coach told me you should always be castling. Yes, this is true, but believe it or not, in the French, sometimes it is not good to castle, believe it or not. Yes, if you castle too fast, you actually give your opponent a target. So if you are a good Frenchman or a good French player, you know which positions you should not be doing this. Let's go and take a look with Vasily Ivanchuk versus Gary Kasparov, one of the best attacking players in history. And, well, just a great, uh, just a great chess player uh, in general. All right, here we go. We start with e4, e6. We got our French defense. d4, d5, knight c3, and here we go, bishop to b4. Remember, after bishop uh, b4, this is now considered the win of our variation. And, well, if I was guaranteed to be able to play the win of our variation, I would play the French pretty much exclusively. Also, because I really like the gambit line in the win of our. With that being said, here we go. Pawn to e5. We're going to go ahead and make sure that they can't capture us back. And here we're going to go ahead and play pawn to b6. A very nice idea here. And here already we're looking at the uh, idea that, well, we're going to keep the game close and we're not going to be castling right away. Here, well, he goes ahead and plays pawn to a3. And most French players here are just going to go ahead and take on c3 right away here and give this messed up pawn structure. And, well, white loves this because, well, we get the two bishop pair. And maybe sometimes we'll get this bishop into the game with something like a4 and then bishop to a3. This was not the case. This is Ivan Chuck, our Uncle Chucky. He is very, very creative, and he goes ahead and plays the bishop back to f8. And this was, I'm sure, threw off Kasparov. And white does have the advantage here. And white usually does have the advantage in most Frenches, mostly because they have the extra space here. All right, here we go. Knight to f3 got played. Let's keep developing our pieces. Knight to e7. The knight's on its regular journey. And here, Kasparov goes ahead and plays h4. This is already a warning saying, hey, I probably should not castle here. Um, I can show you many variations with a Greek gift with whenever black castles in the French, and they just get checkmated very fast. Here, go ahead and expand on the queen side and take your time. Don't get me wrong. If they are starting to open up the center, which is very uncommon, then, yes, you should go ahead and castle. All right, here we go. Black went ahead and played pawn h6, stopping this h4 idea. h5, again, grabbing up so you can't push your pawns forward without creating some weaknesses. And here, black goes and plays pawn to a5. Now, one of the best attacking pieces in the French here for white is actually this light square bishop. So, a lot of times what happens is we're going to play our bishop out to a6 to trade it off. Kasparov saw this and goes ahead and plays bishop to b5 check. Pawn c6, let's kick this away. And here he has a hard decision. Should he play the bishop back to d3 or to a4 here? To be honest, I don't think there really was a good idea behind this. So, well, he went ahead and played bishop a4. And now, well, let's just go ahead and expand and get some free tempos. Here, black goes ahead and plays knight to d7 first. Later on, we will be expanding with b5, but let's get some development in real quick. Knight over to e2. This move makes a lot of sense, although it may look weird. Here, the idea is keeping the pawn structure together with c3. And also, well... Kasparov loves to do kingside attack, so the knights are naturally going to head toward the kingside. All right, here we go. Pawn to b5. Let's grab that extra space. Bishop back to b3. Pawn to c5. Look at this armada of pawns. Black is definitely doing what he should do. Remember, in the French defense, we're typically attacking on the queen side and also the d4 pawn here. Okay, here we go. Pawn to c3 got played. Knight to c6. Here the pieces are slowly pushing forward here, and I'm sure Kasparov is just getting frustrated because... There is, uh, there is, there's no weaknesses. Where do you attack? And because he never castled, where do you attack the king? You can't open the files here. I mean, you could try to take on c5 here because, well, to open up files, we need pawn trades. But when that happens, let's say you take on c5. We don't take on c5 here. We can take on e5 and now grab both of the center pawns. Oof. Of course, white did not want this, though. White went ahead and played castles here, which makes sense. And here, queen c7. Again, just frustrating Kasparov. I'm not going to castle anytime soon, he says. All right, rook to b1 gets played. Pawn to c4. Bishop c2. Of course, we should not be looking about opening up the center anytime, to, uh, uh, anytime soon, or even the queen side, unless it's going to be... Oh, excuse me. Unless it's going to be beneficial for us. So moves like taking on d4 here would just help out white because now there's an open file for them to attack us. So, of course, Uncle Chucky does the right thing. Pawn c4, just gaining more space and kicking him back. 
bishop back to c2, and knight to b6. Oof. Later on, we'll see the bishop come out to e7 here, and that's whenever we can try to open up the queen side. Why do we need to play bishop b7 first? Well, if things do start to get hectic, we can always give ourselves one move to castle rather than a few moves because once things start opening up, our king can become very vulnerable. All right, bishop f4 got played. Bishop over to e7. Now we always have that option, but we're going to keep the king in the center as long as possible because, well, Kasparov, as you're going to see, is going to start building up kingside attack. But if we're not castled, what is he attacking? Here, bishop g3 got played. Rook over to b8. You can definitely see black has a very easy idea here. He's going to be trying to push for b4 soon. Here, knight h2. Again, this is one of those moves that's just like, where is the knight going to? Yes, knight g4 is an idea. And, well, if the king was castled, maybe knight takes h6 ideas. But again, he has no target here. All right, here we go. Queen back to d8. Stopping any ideas over there. Knight to g4. And here we go. Pawn to b4. A nice thematic move. Oof. Again, white is the one dealing with all the problems here. A takes on b4, a takes on b4, and c takes on b4. Kasparov has had it. <laughs> this is definitely not the best move, but, well, what else could he do here? He really didn't want to deal with something like pawn to b3, or even maybe black just takes and then either gets the c3 weakness or the b2 weakness. As after, let's just say, I don't know, white went ahead and played knight to f4 here. After pawn takes, pawn takes, now you see that this is a problem here because now this pawn is the weakness of the group. Or maybe they just go ahead and play, I don't know, f4, and after pawn takes, knight takes, now you have this weak b2 pawn. Again, Kasparov is looking for any kind of way to attack, so again, he just got frustrated, and he goes ahead and takes himself. But now we see the b2 pawn is still a weakness here. And well, it's time to go gather it. We now have a clear target. Knight takes on b4. Of course, our pieces are very happy over here. Bishop back to b1. I mean, this bishop not attacking anything. This rook, it has the open file. But here on b2, this is the main idea of the game right now. Bishop over to d7. Here it is official. Now black does have the advantage. Pawn to b3. And this is probably Kasparov's idea. He was hoping to try to open up something over here. But the only thing he's doing is giving this knight a new good square. Rook e8 got played. Let's go ahead and take that open file. Takes, takes. Pawn takes, knight takes, oof, knight to c1 here. Again, Kasparov is just really shuffling his pieces around here. He has no good constructive plans. Bishop a4, here Uncle Chucky is just getting his pieces to better squares here. I mean, look at this. Yes, things have gone right here, right? Remember, from four and back, this is white's territory. From five and back, this is black's. You can already see that black has pretty much invaded and won the queen side over here. White does have an advantage on the king side, but well... No weaknesses to attack here. Queen e2 got played. Queen over to a7. Now the new weakness to attack is d4, which is very common in the French defense. Knight over to e3. I mean, well, is there any good way to defend this pawn? Not that I can see. The queen can't go to d1. You can't go to d2. Can't go to e3. Dear Lord, there is just no good way to defend this pawn. Kasparov played knight to e3 here, hoping maybe I can get a trade in here. Maybe he'll take and I can take back with the pawn or the queen. But of course, Uncle Chucky is too smart for this. He goes ahead and just takes on d4. Knight takes, pawn takes, queen to f1. And uh, well, after castles here, believe it or not, the great Kasparov goes ahead and resigns. And this is not by any means a very premature resigning, meaning resigning before you should here there is just nothing to do i mean he played his queen back in despair to f1 here look at all his pieces are on the back row over here and uh, uncle chucky has his pieces very nicely placed he has a pass pawn here so it's going to be a very easy idea for him and you can see none of the pieces are really set up for the king side attack so yes guys believe it or not do not castle early in the french defense at least if you're playing with the black pieces here if you do it well me and Kasparov are very happy to start our kingside attacks. Now, don't get me wrong. Different variations in the French are uh, you can castle early. But that is not for all of them. In the Winovar, it's very common to not castle so fast. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.